Welcome to Electro Online. Now it's time to start talking about 3D connections. So far we've seen 1D connection, 2D connections. Now let's talk about 3D connections. But the first ones appear to be like they are 1D connections because the force only acts in one direction. Case in point, let's say we have a support that's resting on a ball and the ball is able to rotate in any different direction so that it can go anywhere in the XZ plane. Then the response for the floor is straight up. There'll be a force directly upward like this in the positive y direction and so as you look at the xyz uh, coordinate system here you can then imagine there's just a single force pointing upward the reason is since there's relatively no friction on a ball like that and it can roll in any different direction there cannot be any forces in the horizontal direction on the floor relative to the ball if we have a case like this where we have a an object that has a smooth surface and it's resting on a floor that has a smooth surface therefore we can ignore it friction in other words a frictionless surface again the only way in which the floor can react is by pushing directly upward perpendicular or normal to the floor and so therefore we have a single force like this again just like we had with the ball pointing directly upward in the y direction a third example of something like that in this case it's not directly upward but is again directly away from the surface here we have a post with a hook and a cable attached to it and the cable is being pulled from one direction therefore the force acting on this cable is directly outward from the beam and so the force would be in this direction in the XYZ coordinate system you can see that would be directly in the negative X direction like that it's a singular direction, it is a known line of action, it's a singular known line of action, so therefore there's only one unknown in this case. So in all of these examples, there's just one direction, it's directly away from the surface, normal or perpendicular to the surface, so here it's directly upward from the floor, directly up from the floor, and here in this case it's directly away from the post. Now it's, it's possible that this cable could be in various directions, but again it's only a singular direction, and therefore a single known line of action. The only thing that's not known is the magnitude of these forces, so it all comes down to trying to find the magnitude of the forces. So these are the easy ones, whenever you find connections like this, in 3D, you say, oh Ray, this is easy, I know how to handle that. There's some more difficult connections coming up, and so stay tuned if you want to see the other ones.